In a previous video in this unit, we looked at adding and removing, hiding and unhiding our worksheets. In this video, we're going to take a look within a worksheet on how to add, remove, hide, all that good stuff when it comes to columns and rows. I did a little prep before I started recording this video. As you can see, I have several different worksheets here. I have a worksheet for add a column, delete a column, hide a column, add a row, delete a row, and hide a row. I added these colors so we could help keep track of what was going on. Let's first begin with taking a look at adding a single column. To do that, we're going to go up to the column headers up here. We're going to right click on one of them. Right click should be familiar about this point in time. We've done a lot of right clicking so far. We're going to right click, let's say on B, and we're going to click insert. Notice what happened. Let me undo that. I'm going to hit control Z. Look at B right here. See what happened? I'm going to right click on it again. I'm going to click insert. Row B, or I should say column B actually moved over to C while we inserted another column right here. Once again, let me undo control Z. And there you go. If we want to add multiple columns, then we're going to select the number of columns that we want to add. So select the column headers equal to how many we want to add. So let's say that we want to add three new columns. I'm going to select three columns. I'm going to right click and click insert. And now we have three brand new columns. Notice when we click insert, it inserts a column to the left. Let me control Z that again. So we undo it, control Z. I select three columns. Let's go, actually let's do two this time. Let's do D and E. So they're both selected. Right click, and when I click insert, it will insert two new columns here. We should see F and G now become blue and purple. F and G were actually D and E, they moved them over and now we have two new columns, D and E. Adding a row is pretty much the same thing. Let me click on the add a row worksheet. And as you can see here, we have the different rows. I'm going to right click on a row header. Let's go with row five. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click insert. Notice row five actually moved down to six and it inserted a new row there. Let's undo this, control Z, watch again. Right click, insert, it inserted a new row right above row five. So this is now, see, here's control Z, undo, control is row five. Right click, insert, moves it down, inserts a row right there. Let me control Z this again to undo. I'm going to select two rows this time. I'm going to click insert. Now remember row five is green as of right now. Insert row five is no longer green. It moved it all the way down to seven as it added two new rows above it. Another thing that you need to do is to be able to delete rows and columns. Let's take a look first at deleting a column. When you click down here, I'm a worksheet called delete column. And I want to delete, let's say the C column. I'm going to right click on C and I'm going to click delete. Notice the C went away. Let me undo this again. Control Z. C right now is blue and D is purple. I'm going to right click on C. I'm going to click delete. Now watch what happens to this purple. It's going to shift this way because we remove the C column and C is gone. Let me control Z that to undo it. And let's say I want to get rid of B and C. What we can expect to see when I click delete is that row D, this purple is going to move all the way over here and the green and the blue are going to be gone. Columns B and C, the original columns are going to be gone and row D is going to shift over. Let me click delete. And there we go. The original B and C are gone. Let me undo this so you can see it. Before, after, before, let me click up here this time for redo. 
after. Going over to deleting rows, we can see the same thing. I'm going to delete row three. Notice two and four are blank, they're white. I'm going to delete row three. The red is gone, the original row is gone, and now we're white and white. Let me undo this, let me go up here this time. Row three is red. When I delete it, goes away, and now we have row three gone. Let me undo this one more time, control Z, and I wanna get rid of rows three, four, and five. I'm clicking and dragging. I'm going to right click. Now remember what it looks like, we have red, clear, white, and green, right click, delete, and now we're left with the purple and the blue. Let's take our final look at both hiding columns and rows. Let me go to hide column, and I wanna get rid of the red column. I wanna get rid of the red. I wanna get rid of column A. I make sure it's selected, I right click on it, and I go to hide. Notice it's gone. The A column is gone. The red is gone. Let me click on C. Let me right click on it. And I'm going to go to hide. Notice something up here. If you notice that this line between D and E looks different than this interesting looking line between B and D. This indicates that we have something hidden in between B and D. I can get right in there, right in the middle, right click and go to unhide, but you gotta hit it just right to do it. The easiest way that I found to unhide it, let me hide it again, is simply select everything. Control A, right click, unhide. But again, once again, you can go specifically and try to unhide that one column, you got to get right in the middle, right on there, right click and go to unhide. Let me get back in there. I missed it this time. Go to unhide. And there you go. Again, the easiest way to do that is just to control A, select everything, and then right click and unhide. Hiding rows is pretty much the same thing. Let's go and hide row three, select it, right click on it, go to hide, and it disappears. Again, notice the difference. Between four and five, this line is a normal looking line, a little separator. Two and four, three is missing, but you have this little funky looking thing here, which indicates that there is a hidden row. Let me right click on it, go to unhide, and there we go. Again, the easiest way to do that is simply, let me hide it again. Control A, selects everything, right click, unhide, and there you go. So that is hiding and unhiding. We also took a look at adding and deleting both your columns and your rows. For even more great tutorials and our complete catalog of online courses, please visit us at mrfordsclass.com.